Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are actually going to be going back to school shopping again. This is my second back to school shopping video of this year. It's actually one of my favorite things to film because like I said in my last video looking at stationery, pens, pencils, and those types of things should bring me a lot of comfort and this year I'm actually doing a back to school giveaway. I didn't do one last year but I did one the year before and I personally really love doing this because you guys are just so supportive and I just love giving back to you guys because you guys watch my videos and it's just so wonderful wonderful to know that I have a wonderful community and I just love being back to you guys I mean I just love it because it just warms my heart and I know a lot of people right now are actually struggling and I would love just to give back to you guys and know that you guys at least won't have to worry about these extra expenses for school supplies but today we're going to Walmart um I haven't stepped foot in a Walmart in forever and I'm kind of nervous because I'm a Target girly more than I'm a Walmart girly but Walmart does have some pretty cool back to school items and I tend to like go in there just to look at the back to school items but let's go into Walmart and see what they have. Also, stay until the end of my video to see how to enter my back to school giveaway. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm not gonna really get anything here just because I've already bought a bunch of like school supplies from Target. But if I find anything cute that I really like, I might get it. Not sure, but we're in the back to school aisle. Walmart is actually really busy, but let's start off with their mechanical pencils and writing utensils because I just love writing utensils. If you don't have a good pen or if you don't have a good pencil, it can honestly make or break your notes. And I like to point out some of my favorite ones. So I honestly like thinner pencils more than I like thicker pencils just because of my hand. It holds so well. And I feel like when it writes, it glides really well. Um, I really like these little big pencil smooth feel here they have a dark writing i personally love the dark writing and you can actually use it when you're testing too so i really like those they also have these paper mate ones personally i liked these when i was drawing in art class because for some reason having a thicker pencil with the grips helped me a lot during art class and i really like these because they come with like replacement and they have like little refiller as well they also have these mechanical pencils here. I personally never really liked these because I always felt like they were really cheaply made and they always broke apart for me. And like the springs would always break apart. My favorite pens, obviously they have them here, are the G2 pens. They have ones in a variety of different colors. Now they have them in 0.10 and 0.7 millimeters. I like the 0.7 millimeters because they're really fine. The 0.10 ones, they tend to bleed a little bit more. So if you're getting the G2 pens, get the 0.7. They also have the Pen and Gear brand from Walmart, and Pen and Gear is just like their brand. Um, they have the ones right here with the different colors and pastels, and they also come with refillables. I've never tried these, but they look really cool. They also have some other paper made pencils as well. They have the clear point ones here, and they have these ones as well with little grips on them. And they also have some Expo markers. You don't really need Expo markers unless your teachers are requiring them. They also have these pen and gear pencils. Again, I feel like these are like a little bit cheaper to get and they do break apart for me and they just feel like really, you know, I lose pencils a lot and these would always be at the bottom of my book bag, but sometimes my books would crush them and they'd be broken. So they have these. And Walmart also has like the pretty basic pencils as well. The yellow wooden ones here. Um, I think these would be great if you want to donate them to the classroom for people who don't necessarily have pencils or you can be that friend who just buys a bunch of them and gives these to people instead. They also have just the regular Sharpie yellow highlighters here. These are the thicker ones. I feel like these last forever. I don't need to get new ones every single year, but they last a very long time for me. They also have like the Sharpie S gel pens. I personally really like these as well. I feel like they write very well. They just feel close second to the G2 pens that I normally get. And they're a little bit of a cheaper alternative. Someone also has like a little chalk here. If you're needing a chalk, they have one of those here. Now this is the mechanical pencil slash pen side of this like bin. Um, they have post-it notes here. Definitely one of my favorite things to get are post-it notes because I like to make notes in my textbooks, but I don't like to actually write in my textbooks. So post-it notes come in really handy when I want to take notes for my books. They also have these like paper mate flare felt tip. I've actually never used these, but these are the teacher packs. Um, they have different colors in them. Really not my most favorite colors, but they have those ones colors. They also have these bigger pack of the G2 pens that are, I believe, 0.7, and they have a different variety of colors. Personally, really like these. I will always say that these Pilot G2 pens are my favorite pens. They also have just some Sharpies here, and they also have these Sharpie 
things for your notes i think we saw these at target actually i think they're trying to make them um, for bullet journals now i'm not sure if these actually bleed through they say they don't but i haven't tried them so i'm not 100 percent sure next up they have these highlight and erase friction highlighters really cool going back to the sharpie highlighters they have these sharpie smaller highlighters that just don't smear personally like i said these last me forever i don't need to grab a new one every single year and they also have these sharpie highlighters as well that have the little clear tip so you can actually see what you are highlighting then over here i see that they have these like sharpies that come in a variety of different colors really cool again these may last you more than a year unless you just like really like coloring with sharpies so of course Walmart has sections and sections and sections of notebooks and binders and it's always so fun to come in here and just see what they have and they have so many more patterns than the Target I went to and I don't know let's just see like all the cute patterns I know there's like the basic color ones like those ones there but I'm here for patterns and I love like patterns especially the cute adorable ones so let's see so i really like this composition book it has like the floral patterns on it i've been really obsessed with like people call it grandma court but i've been really obsessed with the floral patterns of the composition books i also really like this like pink kind of like gradient color it has the pink and the blue this is really nice they also have like this regular blue composition book as well when i was a kid i never really got like the colorful ones i just always tried to stick with like the basics but now that i'm older i'm like i love the colors i love the patterns i found this pink composition book and i'm actually in love with it because it's just pink and i really have been obsessed with pink lately they have 80 sheets and this is actually a wide world not college i'm gonna need a college world one i also really like how walmart has more affordable alternatives than target does their folders these are the paper folders they're 25 cents and at target they were like at least two dollars for the paper ones and honestly if you're coming to get paper folders and you need some get these 25 cent ones even have the five star pocket folders here they are paper but they're a dollar and 48 cents i think at target they were two dollars so definitely come and get these if you're looking for the five star ones this is also different than what i saw at target they have these little binder bundles so they come with binders and they also come with notebooks i think this is great if you're looking for an easy way to just like get all your items without actually breaking the bank like it's eleven dollars and 97 cents for this really nice cool binder bundle they even have like cute patterns to that doll or even that super mario one so definitely could try these out if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable it comes with a one inch binder a two pocket folder a one subject notebook and even a composition book walmart also has another section just full of like pens and markers that you can also choose from they have a bunch of paper made and then the sharpie ones and then they have a bunch of g2 ones so i actually want to look at some of these because there are some pretty cute aesthetic ones i see these laguna pens here i think they're more for like artsy type you know pens not really meant for every day just like a signature pen to have in like your purse or book bag when you want to sign paperwork or to fill out like text correction i also see that they have these retractable pen and gear pens as well that come in a variety of different colors um but i think they are only black ink pens but they come in a different colors that's pretty cute honestly there's really not a whole lot of like aesthetic ones they do have like the blue and regular big crystal pens i personally really like those um just to use on an everyday basis or if i need to give like someone a pen i'll just give them that one truth be told i was always that friend who would always give pens and pencils to people and i learned that i would rather get like a cheaper brand and then keep my own pens because if i gave people the ones pens i like i would like have this expectation of getting it back but if you get the pens that are a little bit cheaper you don't have that expectation for some reason these scissors literally give me nostalgia because we would have them in class but they have so many different colors like they have this like ballerina one with a bow on it so adorable and they have like regular like blue ones just regular solid colors and the pink ones there they even have like a rainbow one back here so adorable i also think it's really cool that they have different types of crayons like growing up i never saw these brands from crayola like they have different like bold and bright for construction papers that would have came in handy when i was a kid they also have the colors of kindness like just crayons and they have little quotes on the side of them they even have like neon colored ones and then even like the colors of world crayola crayons i've just never saw that growing up and i think that's pretty cool they even had like the different color pencils as well and like they have the colors of kindness color pencils and they even have like the erasable ones i always wanted the erasable ones when i was a kid 
I don't know, just because I thought it was really cool that you can like erase colored pencil. I really liked those when I was a kid. I am eyeballing that pen and beer like pencil pouch because I've been needing just a pencil pouch to have because I carry a bunch of pencils and pens around for signing documentation and paperwork and I can never find my pens and pencils. So honestly, I might get this pink one and get one for you guys to match. So my Walmart actually had a lot of stuff on clearance. I don't know why my camera's being really dark right now, but I want to show you guys everything that I got on clearance and then also like what I got for school supplies as well. So I actually got her this bluey blanket for my daughter. It's literally, it was on clearance. It was $3.92 and I was like, I'm getting this because the original price is $15. And she has been obsessed with blankets lately and her favorite character right now is Bluey. She loves Baby Shark and Bluey. Definitely a really good find at Walmart. Love it. Then I got her this swimsuit. She's actually in swim classes right now too. We take her every single Sunday. And right now is the best time to get like swimsuits that are on clearance. So I got her this one. I prefer my daughter to be in like a rash guard type swimsuit anyways. Just because if she goes out in the sun or anything, it won't burn her. She went to the beach or the pool. And it was originally $12. It was on clearance for $5. And for those of you who have kids, you know that having kids literally clothes are so expensive and i like to get stuff on clearance especially like during july because there's so many sales now for back to school items i couldn't really find a lot of things that i didn't already have from target so i literally just got you guys these like matching pencil binder pouches i got one for myself and for you guys so also like i said at the beginning i am doing a giveaway and the products you will be getting are right here in this little picture those products are mainly from target i do plan on filming two more back to school giveaway videos so after my fourth one is posted i will be announcing the winner and all you have to do to enter is to subscribe to my channel um, follow me on instagram and comment giveaway down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye